you don't have to worry and you don't have to be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles they don't last always but there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away good morning and welcome to your spiritual sports segment on Rima <laughs> gospel radio better than when you heard it the last time you heard it I'm CJ let go TNT was the channel to be tuned into last night as they had two games featured. However, comma, I kick off this segment with the LA Clippers getting 29 sizzling hot points from Chris Paul as they get past the Indiana Pacers 99-91. The first game on TNT pitted the Chicago Bulls against the Philadelphia 76ers as Joe Kim Noah was nothing shy of a beast as he notched his third triple-double at 23 points. 21 glass grabbing rebounds and 11 monster blocks as the Bulls knock off the 76ers 93 to 82. And in the second game, the Minnesota Timberwolves caught the wrath of the Black Mamba as Kobe Bryant poured in 33 points as my LA Lakers annihilated the Timberwolves 116 to 94. Men's college basketball witnessed a seismic upset as unranked Virginia upset. Third ranked Duke, 73 to 68, as Joe Harris was bowling outside of his mind with 36 basket filling points. Second ranked Gonzaga avoided an upset themselves as they defeated BYU 70 to 65 with 19 points from Kelly Olenek. 16th ranked Ohio State crews passed Northwestern 63 to 53 with 24 points from Lenzel Smith Jr. 24th ranked Oregon outlasted Oregon State 85 to 75 as Carlos Emery netted 21 points off the bench and 25th ranked Louisiana Tech blasted Utah State 84 to 61 as Raheem Appleby scored 15 points. The National Hockey League was jam-packed with 11 games on the frozen ice as I run down round one of NHL scores as the Chicago Blackhawks shut out. The St. Louis Blues 3-0 as they win their 20th consecutive game. The New Jersey Devils lost 3-1 to the Winnipeg Jets. A shootout was needed as the Buffalo Sabres defeat the Florida Panthers 4-3, while the New York Rangers pound the Florida Lightning 4-1. The Carolina Hurricanes pasted the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-1, and in overtime, the Boston Brewers eked out the 2-1 win over the Ottawa Senators. For your first segment, quick news and notes, Ryan O'Reilly and the Colorado Avalanche reach what sources say is a $10 million deal. Mayor Kevin Johnson says Sacramento is back in the ball game after announcing that two investors want to buy the NBA's Kings and build a downtown arena to stop the proposed move of the city's only major league sports team to Seattle and one of the investors is Mark Mastroff, founder of 24 Hour Fitness. The New York Yankees have made a significant offer to Robinson Cano in an attempt to avoid getting into a bidding war for the all-star second baseman services this winter. Daniel Doc Jacobs, a war veteran from Iraq, lost part of his leg in an explosion, has tried out for the Los Angeles Dodgers. The NFL salary cap for the 2013 season will rise to $123 million from $120.6 million in 2012. Minnesota Vikings punter Chris Cluey and Baltimore Ravens linebacker Brandon A.M. Badijo has written and filed an amicus brief in support of same-sex marriage in California and finally Texas Rangers shortstop Elvis Andrus was scratched from Thursday's Cactus League game against the Cleveland Indians due to muscle soreness in his left arm caused by a tattoo a tattoo dude you need the cowboy up huh well lol that's easy to say from someone with not a single tattoo <laughs> do you need a new TV what about an overnight stay at the Hilton or just some cold hard cash if so, make sure you purchase your tickets for only $68 to Rima Word Broadcasting 6th Annual Ministry Gala for your share of $5,000 to $10,000 in cash and prizes. Don't hesitate and go right now to get your tickets at RimaWordTV.info. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality. <laughs> In your sports, I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God did not bless you with the spirit of fear. So in 2013, live your dream.